There was a time when thousands of Iraqi refugees fled their borders. But now thousands of Syrian refugees are flocking to them. Fighting between troops loyal to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and the rebel forces has forced 160,000 Syrians from their country. And here's where many have turned up, Dahuk in northern Iraq. 16 people from three families live in this house, a converted animal shelter. Dala Mohammed has been here for seven months. Dala knew she had to leave Syria when her daughter was threatened and her home was broken into. To protect my kids, I came here, you know, back there at night you could hear a lot of, you know, fighting going on. Every day you could hear, you know, airplanes coming and going, and then, you know, there were a lot of artillery bombing, you know, you could hear it, and our house was, like, moving, shaving. Like. This is the Domiz refugee camp. It's meant to house 15,000 people, but there are more than 45,000 here now. Marwa Darwish walked for two days with her four children to get here. For her, the pain is still raw. Since you've been here, how has it been? Is this, is, is this a struggle here? How has uh, the people at the camp been decent to her? You see, I have a lot to say, and nobody has suffered like me. Well, well tell her to tell us. I can't touch your back, baby. Touch your back, my back. He said, I left my brother's house, you know, I had to come here alone. And... It's much better for me to be here, you know. Charities say resources are stretched and they're struggling to make ends meet. It is summertime in northern Iraq. It is 43 degrees centigrade during the day, which is incredibly hot for English people, British people. It just makes us melt. For people who live here, it's pretty damn tough. And uh, water is the big problem. Not enough clean water for about 160,000 people that are in Iraq at the moment from Syria as refugees. And cholera, the big outbreaks tend to happen in September. So there's a big danger of that, sanitation, and clean water, and they need enough money to pay for all of this. Much of that money is going to help keep water flowing in the camp. But with new arrivals expected, the pressure is on. Our most critical priority right now is water and sanitation. Water and sanitation makes up the bulk, in fact, two-thirds of our entire funding appeal because we're responsible for providing access to safe water, adequate sanitation in this camp. There's a new camp that's opening in Erbil uh, and even in host communities. The number of Syrian refugees is expected to more than double to 350,000 by the end of the year. But with humanitarian agencies having to provide for so many and no end in sight to the conflict in Syria, it's difficult to imagine the situation improving without significant financial help. Eddie Izzard, Sky News, Iraq.